Jim Brown and Franco Harris. First and ten, Riggins, Lee Flecker, back to Fison. Fison's in a lot of trouble. And it was Lawrence Taylor who slammed Fison to the ground at the 42-yard line. The blitz was on. That's not necessarily a good play to have called. And quickly, Lawrence Taylor was up saying Fison is hurt. And I don't believe Lawrence Taylor would have reacted that way unless Fison is really hurt. He slammed him to the natural surface here. The blitz was on. That is not a good call to have with the blitz on. Theismann had no chance at all to get downfield with it. Let's take a look at it with our reverse angle camera. He's looking deep, but he knows he's in trouble. Lawrence Taylor, number 56, right there. Carson is number 53. But it's Taylor over Carson. Oh, oh. slamming. Oh. And you see the oh. right knee, the right foot. That's the ankle. And I <laughs> knew that something was really bad when Lawrence Taylor leaped to his feet and beckoned over to the Redskins bench. Get your medical team in here quickly. Life's this game of inches. So is football. Because in either game, life or football, the margin for error is so small. I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. BC looking upset Miami. Ed Reed would like to go to the Rose Bowl. St. Pierre drops back, throws left side, kick, and into the hands of Matt Walker, and Reed takes the ball on an exchange, brings it over the 40, 50, down the middle, it's a race, the 30, the 20, Reed is going to score for Miami, the Hurricanes are going to win this game. I'll tell you this, in any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's gonna win that itch. And I know if I'm gonna have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that itch. Because that's what living is. The six inches in front of your face. Now I can't make you do it. You gotta look at the guy next to you. Look into his eyes. Now I think you're gonna see a guy who will go that inch with you. Hell yeah. You're gonna see a guy who will sacrifice himself for this team because he knows when it comes down to it, you're gonna do the same for him. But that's the team, gentlemen. And either we heal now as a team or we will die as individuals. That's football, guys. That's all it is. Now, what are you going to do?